Hi there, it's Mark Wright from Trucks and Trailers here. We're the Mercedes-Benz agent for the brand new X-Class. And we're very, very proud of what our X-Class can do, but we thought we'd give it to some guys who really know about this sort of stuff and prove that it really cut the mustard. NZ Hunter have had this vehicle for the last six months. It's now hand over to Greg and give you the rundown on how this vehicle's performed in that period. When we first heard about Mercedes bringing out a new ute about a year ago, they had some really key features that we think are going to make this ute stand out ahead of the opposition. One thing we've never liked about standard utes is they've all got leaf springs in the rear and generally they're set up far too heavily and they are very hard riding off-road. Mercedes went to four-wheel coils, a coil spring in every corner. Now this is so much better, it gives you longer suspension travel, much softer ride and greater articulation and enables you to keep the wheels on the ground better. And that's exactly how we found this ute off-road. Really soft riding, keeps its wheels on the ground and doesn't break traction. Another feature that really attracted us to the X-Class was the fact it's got a low range. So it's got very low, slow, forward gears and reverse. Unlike other utes, with the X-Class you can drive with two feet, what's called left foot braking. That means your right foot on the accelerator and your left foot on the brake so that you can continually control your forward speed while holding your engine revs up for a much smoother transition over undulating and rough ground. This is an incredibly useful feature when driving an automatic off-road and other utes have got a safety feature that the minute you touch the brake at the same time as the accelerator, they cut the throttle. Having the vehicle's computer cut the throttle on you unexpectedly is not only very annoying, it actually can be really dangerous if you're in the middle of a tricky manoeuvre on a steep hill. The X-Class has a rear diff lock and it also has downhill descent control. Now this allows you to go down a steep hill safely without over braking causing the vehicle to take off uncontrollably. So you can either use standard drive mode, in which case the automatic will select the gears for you, or a much better idea when you're wanting to have more control over the vehicle is to flick it across into shuttle shift, which is effectively driving it like a manual. Mercedes have also widened the track in the front with longer upper and lower suspension control arms. This has meant that the vehicle is more stable with a lower centre of gravity. It sits flatter, rides better on the road and less likely to tip over. The stability on and off road is also helped by heavy duty sway bars front and rear. The tray size is class leading, it can take the largest pallet size which is about $12.95 between the wheel arches. This is one of the two canopy options, this one's called the Touring Canopy, it's got double lift up side windows so you can get it all the stuff at the front without having to reach all the way through from the back. It's big and square so it makes maximum use of your volume inside. It's got one of the most easily accessible rear seats, the door opens wider than most other utes and the rear seat position is high and really comfortable even for a long legged hooer like me. Even though our duck boat only weighs about a tonne and a half and we're not hauling huge loads around the bush, if you've got a seriously big hard top boat, this ute's got a three and a half tonne rating and it's got suspension and stability control set up so that the tail doesn't wag the dog. Mark set this ute up with what they call a style pack which has got the roof rack, the running boards to allow you to get up to the roof rack and LED headlights and also with the factory underbelly protection option. It has a fully featured interior with a joystick and a touchpad control system that you can use safely while you're driving without having to look at it. It's got a high resolution screen for media, navigation and that sort of thing and it also works incredibly well as your reversing camera. It's one of the easiest to use and adjust cruise control systems. You can connect up to three cell phones at once and the display even shows you your tyre pressures. You can see we've got them low for off-road here. For our serious off-road use, we've given the X-Class a full Ironman upgrade. And this includes a custom suspension lift with airbags in the back to be able to control the height in the back depending on the loading and also side to side. A replacement rear protection bar that improves the departure angle and looks after those rear corners and tail lights. A snorkel for river crossings and to get clean air to the engine. And full all-round canvas car seat covers. And of course we've fitted our favourite off-road tyre, the Mickey Thompson NTZ P3s and a 305 6517. This is a really serious, aggressive off-road tyre with great performance both on and off-road. So we've given it a fair old thrashing over the last six months from the central North Island to the deep south. Big bouldery Canterbury riverbeds, steep hills, mud, swamps, river crossings. The X-Class has taken it all in its stride, incredibly comfortable ride. And of course we've done a lot of Ks of tarmac in between. So if you're looking for a serious contender for the ultimate New Zealand Hunters Ute, check out the new Mercedes X-Class. At Trucks and Trailers we're a little bit different to the average car dealership. Being a commercial dealer for over 31 years, we're used to custom building vehicles to suit our customers' needs. So if you're in the market for a new Ute, or want something custom built like we have here for NZ Hunter, come and see our friendly team at Trucks and Trailers.